Hi everyone, it's Emily here at Joyful Junk Journals, and today I have for you a Harry Potter journal that I finally finished. So I've been working on this one for quite some time. It's been a while since we've posted, and she's finally done. <laughs> so um, I have been collecting Harry Potter stuff for years, and it was fun to finally have a place to put it all. So I'm going to show you what I did. Um, it's a fabric journal and it is nine by six approximately and the tie is just with a ribbon here I'll show you it goes around so I patchworked the actual cover um, the fabric cover so it's all Harry Potter themed fabric that's just been quilted together kind of or pieced together so the ribbon unties just that way around the button um, and then I did do a really big tassel I don't normally do them this full but Harry Potter just needed needed extra <laughs> so there's lots of different ribbons and um, charms let's see let's see if I can find some of the actual charms here they've got beads um, here's like one of the little cauldrons oops cauldron there broomstick a snitch so just lots of fun charms there's three or four more on the tassel and then right here with the button there's also um, pull it up so you can see Hogwarts and then the oops, sorry bumped it the um, lightning bolt so that is the front and the closure and you just close it by wrapping it around and twisting it and it stays closed pretty good um, so the fabric cover is um, I've got interfacing inside of it and cardstock so it's a little bit thicker like it's it holds its shape but it still is the fabric except for right here then it's a little more floppy so so it doesn't bend I, I use the uh, I think it's the book vandal her tutorial and I really love the way it turned out because it still feels solid but it's got that fabric feel too um, and then I also fray checked the edges so it's not going to unravel which I like I always worry about that with fabric ones so let's open it up it is five signatures and it is full of Harry Potter goodness <laughs> so for the first page you've got Harry here flying at the bottom um, these were some like paper doll cutout things I found at Tuesday morning that were just awesome. And here is a collage tag and I actually embroidered the glasses and then some Harry Potter fabric and the Sword of Gryffindor all sewed on the tag. So I have several collage tags throughout and all of the book paper that you see is from Harry Potter. So it will all have the, um, you know, text of one of the Harry Potter books inside it. So this is from a deck of playing cards. It's Harry Potter. And then these came with the paper doll die cut things. And they're just cute little tickets and I backed them with paper. So those are throughout. And then notice this is also Harry Potter paper through here. So turning this way, here we've got an envelope pocket that I collaged around. And inside is Hermione on a tag and then Gryffindor paper on the back and then whoops, and then this flips up so there's writing space here and then here we've got the sorting hat and another collage tag and another collage tag up here and it's got, um, this is from a Harry Potter journal I had that had talked about it, different Harry Potter things. So there's that one. And then just some coffee dye paper. I tried to make sure to leave some blank writing space so you can do your own journaling or doodling or whatever it is that you're wanting to do. Um, on this one, this is from a Harry Potter stationery set that I coffee dyed. So sort out your priorities. One of the best Ron quotes. She needs to sort out her priorities. Um, more paper to journal. 
This is like a velvet ribbon, so it's got a nice feel to it. And then the keys, I thought, reminded me of the keys in the Sorcerer's Stone. Even though they don't have wings, <laughs> it still reminded me. And then here we've got Ron. And behind him, there's just a tag. And then um, this is from a Harry Potter clue game. And I coffee dyed it. So you can journal on the inside of that. behind him and then here's a big page so we've got a fabric pocket with Ron on it and then a little Whomping Willow charm because he ran the car into the Whomping Willow <laughs> and another one of these tags and then a little um, paper sack pocket I made that's got a snitch on it and a Gryffindor tag and then in the back, another collaged bookmark tag, and it has this like raised um, wizard's hat. And then just a couple of coffee dyed papers to journal on. So that one goes there. And then this whole page flips up. So in here, we've got um, just a couple of flip outs. So there's lots of journal space here and the whole spot there. And then over here, we've got a little fabric Hermione, um, some collaging, and then another collage tag, and then just a bracket. What, what do they call that? Whatever, shaped tag, <laughs> different shaped tag. Okay, and then I found these fun printable um, labels for like potion ingredients. So there's the booba tuber pus. Um, label and then this was from a journal that I took it apart and coffee dyed it so there's this type of paper throughout and this is a Ravenclaw and then um, over here this is an embossed it's like a London stamp I don't know if you can really see it and it's got some like gold to it I really loved it because it reminded me of the Gryffindor Lion and then it has London and it just it was fun. And then behind that, I got a tag, another one. And this says that same raised, um, it's like the texture, what do they call it? Like the stencil paint or something like that. And there's the flying key on it. And back here is just a little fabric pocket, it's like mounted on cardstock with a collage tag and there's Harry in the restricted section of the library. If you can't tell, I am quite a Harry Potter nerd. <laughs> I, I love it. So I had a lot of fun with this book. But there's the more paper space. And then here, this is from another game, um, Mystery at Hogwarts. I think that was the clue game, another card from there. And then this was just some stationery that's got a wand on it. I fold it into an envelope and then another collage tag with the raven for Ravenclaw so it just goes right back there um let's see is that right yep so here we've got an owl die cut and some more of the Hogwarts paper and then here I put this is supposed to be Peter and then that's supposed to be Crookshanks sneaking up behind him because you know Crookshanks is always sneaking up on Peter Pettigrew as scabbers. And then um, some more of that paper just to journal on. And then on, so that's the end of the second. I didn't mark the end of the first signature. This is the end of the second signature. And then here we've got um, a belly band with Dumbledore behind. And then, and so there's journal space on the back of that. And then a pocket on the belly band, just with a collage tag. And then here we've got these pockets I made using um, pages from the second book. So it's got Gilderoy Lockhart here at the top. And then just a couple of little tags and a collaged bookmark in the back here 
And you can see I tried to sew around most of the, the collaged pieces just to give them a little bit more texture. There's quite a bit of sewing in this book. Um, yeah. <laughs> so there's the Hufflepuff one. And here's a little Slytherin fabric cluster on the side there. And some more journal space. Oops. And then this is from a Harry Potter poster book I had. And there's Hedwig. And this is just from the, what is it, Magical Creatures book. I just cut out some of the definitions of the different creatures and put them in. So there's that one for the Grindy Low. And there's some Gryffindor paper. And I just collaged this whole page. And then I have a fabric tag in the back pocket. And um, I didn't tack Hagrid all the way down. I didn't glue him all the way. So if you have like a ticket or, or something, a little note that you want to slip in there, you can. So there's that one. And then there's, um, this was in that same pack that had the die cuts in it. So it's got like potion labels on it. And then here in the side is a Hogwarts envelope with Hogwarts stationery. So I've got a couple sheets of that. And I didn't coffee dye that one because it already looks pretty old and I didn't want to mess it up. <laughs> um, the back's white, but the rest of it is parchment looking. So I'll put that back in there. Slip it in the pocket. Okay. There we go. So that's the end of the third signature. Going on to the fourth. Just some more journal space. Places for you to put your own notes or doodles. Some Harry Potter themed paper. Um, we've got a Gryffindor. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm off the camera. A Gryffindor lion charm that's on the Gryffindor fabric tag or tab, however you say that. And then a little um, piece of the poster book that's kind of hard to see, but it's Harry and Hagrid and Gringotts. And then some more of the paper. And then here we've just got a bracket pocket thing. <laughs> and this is like a textured glittery tag. Kind of reminded me of like astronomy or something. And then from the stationery set, things I need from Hogsmeade. There's that page. And then here's the little Gryffindor tuck with another one of the magical creature um, cards. I sewed around that one. And then just a piece of coffee dye paper to journal on in a little envelope shape. And over here, I've got a tag, and then I can get it out. I just did my nails, and I don't have very much grip. <laughs> um, this is a pocket envelope that I made. This one is the only paper, I think, that is not from a Harry Potter book, but it was an old typewriter book, so I had to use it. <laughs> but I collaged the front, and then there's just a little card tucked inside. And then this is velvet paper right here, so it's got a nice, fun feel to it. And over here we have one of the sideways tags, a little Gryffindor thing there, some more of the paper, and then a collage tag inside that tuck spot there. the Gryffindor side of the paper and there's an owl printable that I purchased online. I'll have to see if I can find the shop I got it from and um, it printed really really nicely. And then here we have our good friend Severus. We've got to have Severus <laughs> and you can write on the back of him and he just slips right in there. 
And then I collage the whole page. And then here's a little thing to pull out. And it's the Newt Scamander's suitcase. <laughs> and just a postcard that I coffee dyed of it. And then for the final page, we've got um, a flip. So inside we've got Fluffy and another one of the uh, creature cards, the creature definition cards. Let's stick that back in there. There we go. The shadows are making it so I couldn't see. And then a uh, sewn tag here, so it's strips collaged here, and then there's the castle on the back. And just a note card and a tag for journaling and a Hermione tag with the sorting hat and then on the front we've got the Harry Potter logo with the snitch so I hope you enjoyed the flip through I appreciate you watching it's been so much fun to make and I will have it up in our Etsy store it's joyful junk journals um, very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.